It's the NFL on EA Sports. And the question is, are you ready for some football? It's the Chicago Bears and the Los Angeles Chargers. And it comes your way next. From the second largest city in the U.S., Los Angeles, California, we've got football as EA Sports coverage of the NFL is on the air. Coming up, we got a good matchup on tap here as it'll be the Chicago Bears taking on the L.A. Chargers. Happy to be on hand. I'm Brandon Gunn with Charles Davis. And before we kick, partner, your keys to the game, please. Well, my keys are on the defensive side of the ball for both teams. And the big one, making sure you avoid giving up the big play. These safeties are going to get tested all game long. Their job, keep the ball in front of them, tackle people, make them run extra plays in order to try and score. Here's Cairo Santos now, Redwood started, and we are underway here in Los Angeles. From his end zone, here's Darius Davis. And he takes this near the 25, just a little pass there, called it the 26. Here are the Chargers ready to go on offense, led by their first round pick in 2020. The man out of Oregon, Justin Herbert. It hasn't taken Herbert long to earn the status of one of the league's best and most entertaining passers. He's locked and loaded on every snap. In the second he sees an opening, the ball's soaring downfield. You've got to be on your A game at all times against him. The second you slip up, he's liable to burn you. Herbert to throw right away. Well, the first play of the game going to be intercepted. And they're going to be set up in the red zone at the 15. Wow, just one snap in, partner, and the complexion of this game has already changed because for the defensive side, they just handed their offense a short field and a big early advantage. And even though it's only the first snap of the game, we're going to look back on this one and see if it has lasting effects as this game moves on. So now here are the Bears with excellent field position to start off. And they'll be led out by a man who nearly broke the single-season rushing record for quarterbacks last season. A true dual threat out of Ohio State, Justin Fields. And what he's thinking about right now is first down, let's find a way to make a big play. Because when you get a sudden change situation and that defense has to rush onto the field unexpectedly, you might catch them having a defensive breakdown or not quite prepared. And it was really sudden after the first play picked off. They'll run it here. This is Deontay Foreman. And it'll surge forward for about five yards down to the 10. Hey, it's not the most spectacular play, but I think most teams will take that every single time for the first play of a drive. Begin the series with positive yardage and set yourself up for a very manageable second down. Ball sits on the 10, second and five. They run again with Foreman. And he is swallowed up right at the line of scrimmage. They'll say no gain on the play there, and now it'll be third down. He can rack up those tackles in bunches in the run game from that middle linebacker spot. And what he has to do is make sure he congratulates the guys in front and tells them thanks a lot because as the guy in the middle, the Mike linebacker, you're counting on your front three, your front four, your front five, whatever you've got in front of you to take up all the block. Open man, he finds Komet. Touchdown, Chicago. 10 yards on the touchdown pass. And the Bears take the early turnover and convert it into an opening touchdown. You got to figure down by the goal line. This is where a tight end earns his money area. And he's able to work free in the middle of the end zone and grabs that one for a touchdown. Cairo Santos on to try the extra point. And he's got it to make it 7-0 in favor of the Bears. So they only needed three plays on that drive. 
And it was all capped off by Cole Komet with a touchdown catch. After the touchdown, here's Santos to kick this one away. Taken at the goal line. And able to get this across the 20, but not much further as he's dropped at the 23-yard line. The Chargers get set to go here for their second drive. And the interception on that opening drive winds up leading to the touchdown, so now it's kind of time to start over. Yeah, it certainly is, and his first throw of the game. But I like the way his guys rallied around him. Oftentimes, the quarterback is the leader, right? He tells everyone what to do. In this case, I noticed his linemen around him kind of patting him, saying, let's go, big boy. You're still our leader. They go back to the air here after the INT on the last drive. And it's incomplete. Boy, he doesn't drop many like that one. Second down. No surprise at all. They're looking for the big man early in this one. The only surprise for them, he couldn't hang on to the pass. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. Back to throw here, Herbert. That's caught by his tight end, Gerald Everett. Five yards, now it's third and five. Got to give credit where it's due. Really nice defense on that play. The pitch and catch was successful, but not any run after it. They'll need five on this play to move the sticks. From the shotgun, here's Herbert. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. Excellent play there on third down. Give him 25 yards. And that's how you shake off the interception you threw on the opening drive. Come back and throw another strike and gain nice yardage. And I give credit to two people on this one. The man throwing the ball and the person calling the plays. They're not shutting him down early in this game. So into Bear territory now. This is first and 10 at the 47. Herbert back to the air. Going quickly there, but it's incomplete. The coverage keyed in on him since that last completion his way. He earned a little more attention on that route, and that made it a lot tougher to get a clean throw his way. Second and 10. Here's Herbert. And that is going to be incomplete as he led him a bit too much. And he's only hit on two of his first six passes. Time for a quick quarterback regroup here with a big third down coming up. So back-to-back -back incompletions, and that has him staring at a third and ten. Herbert. Working the middle here. That's complete to Everett, the tight end. And he will be very close to a first down, but I see the closed fist of the referee, and that means fourth down. And I believe that that gain on third and long changes things quite a bit because this would be a very long field goal. I wouldn't be surprised to see him go for it here. Now fourth down, so the Chargers trot out J.K. Scott. And he couldn't get it to check up. That kicks all the way into the end zone for a touchback. Chicago works their way back onto the field here for their second drive of the game. They'll be looking to duplicate that first drive, the one that got them that 7-0 lead. Of course they would. I mean, look, they're on the road. So getting the 7-0 lead was huge for them, right? Imagine getting up two touchdowns on the road, taking the crowd out of the game. It'd be ideal. Fields on first down. Over the middle, and that's caught by Komet. And he's going to get seven out of this before being taken down at the 27. Now that's staying ahead of the chains. Really good pickup on first down, hitting the tight end there. Now it brings up a second and manageable. Just found a hole in that zone. Operating from the 27 now. Here's second and three. 
Foreman powering ahead. Able to power through. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. Now we're going to get a stoppage. Appears to be an injured bear on the field. More from L.A. in a moment. After the run by Foreman, here's first and 10. And they'll give him another shot here on the ground. They'll get this up to the 47 and brought down there. I feel like I could see what he was thinking on that carry. He wanted to follow that big tackle through the hole. Ended up only getting four yards on the carry. I think he had designs on that one being bigger. Second down and six now. Again, it's Foreman. And he's going to get across midfield and into Charger territory. It's a five-yard gain, but they'll still be a yard short here with third down now looming. It's not a huge breakaway run, but if your starting running back finishes the game with averages of five or six yards per touch, you'll take that every single time. Here now, third and a yard. Foreman will try to pick it up. And he has the first down yardage before they bring him down right at the 45. Three yards there, good enough to keep the drive moving. That's a tremendous group effort there because when you talk about offensive lines, the best ones talk about guys that play in harmony, in sync, and getting things done, and they did that on that play. Yeah, especially on third and one. Got to be in sync, and they were. That's complete to Mooney. And they'll wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. So that one a hold right guard. And you understand why offensive and defensive linemen probably go to martial arts schools and work on their hands so often because that could be the make or break difference on a play. This time you had to grab Erzy in order to make the play happen. Got caught for the penalty. But now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. Really good coverage all over the field. And it took away his intended read and almost dared him to try for his guy out of the backfield. No surprise on that one. It doesn't connect. So they'll come up after the incompletion for second down. Foreman takes it headed right. And he'll fight his way forward to about the 48-yard line. He'll get three, but it leaves him with a big hole here on third and very long. I do know from experience that when you slow down someone's running game, you're now doing the dictating on defense. And guess what? Now you're getting ready to tee off on their quarterback because they have to throw it all the time. But you still have to be alert for the draws and other plays of that nature to make sure you don't get hurt. That'll be caught by Foreman. And he'll get it down to the 47 here. Five yards, not enough, and it'll be fourth down. So much about this game is just understanding situations and then having to execute, isn't it? Guard the first down sticks, don't let them get there, and they rallied and made the tackle. On fourth down, Chicago brings out Trenton Gill. Back deep for L.A. is Darius Davis. And this is going to hit the goal line and continue on into the end zone for a touchback. L.A. readies for its next possession. And the results for them have not been strong to this point. Two drives have ended in a turnover and then a punt. So would it be too snarky for me to say that they've shown improvement? Because you had two, oh. two drives with turnovers. <laughs> now they punted it away, so at least they didn't turn it over. So that's good, right? You're going to get some angry users <laughs> reaching out to you on social media. Well, I don't mean to be. I was actually looking for the positive. Silver lining, you know. Herbert and the Chargers now with a first and 10 at the 20. They'll try and start this drive in the air. Out left, he's got it to Everett. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down. Second and right at a yard. Well, that tight end position, it just seems to continue to evolve every year in the NFL. Yeah, you're getting really terrific athletes. A lot of them maybe were wide receivers at one point that continue to give you speed, 
great hands and big bodies, which make them excellent targets for quarterback. Uh, nowhere to go for Herbert, and he's going to go down. Montez Sweat, the man that time to fight in and drop him. In every game, we talk about what are going to be the keys as we go into it. Maybe that's a key for their defense today. Pressure the quarterback and make sure you play a good zone defense behind them, and they get their first sack of the contest. Going to throw on third down with Herbert. And that will be incomplete. Well, anytime he reads man coverage, I don't think it's going to be the only time he'll try and hit that route to the outside in this game. He'll test the perimeter, but that time, they were up to the challenge. On fourth down, J.K. Scott ready to punt it away. Fair catch called. It's taken in right at the 20-yard line. 51 yards on the punt there. And the Bears take over. The Chicago offense set to get started. They've got a 7-0 lead in the football as well as they start out first and 10. The drive starts with Foreman on the ground, and he'll power his way forward for about four yards there on the first down carry. Well, you don't turn your nose up at a gain of four, do you? They'll take that on first down. Playbook's got to be pretty well open on second and six. From the 25, here's second and six. On the handoff, here's Foreman. 46 yards rushing for him now in the ball game. Brandon, all things considered, they have to feel pretty good about getting that type of a game considering the blitz that they just had against them. Here comes third and about a foot. Now a give to Foreman. And they'll get it up just short of the 45 at the 44. Mark that down as a pickup of 13, and the Bears have the first. Well, they're making a real first-quarter statement with a run game, no doubt. For those who remember old-school football, running it, establishing things, seeing backs find holes, get through them, they've got to like what they're seeing from this unit so far. Right now, they've decided to, say, as you said, establish the run game, and they've been successful doing it. side of St. Brown. And he gets this to the other side of midfield across the 45 before going out. A timeout here for an injured player and definitely not what this defense wants to see. It's Khalil Mack who's in some discomfort. More from L.A. in a moment. So from Charger territory now, here's a first and 10 at the 44-yard line. Here's Foreman. And he'll power ahead, but only for about three yards. Second down coming up. Here's second and seven. A carry for Foreman. He had to fight for every yard on that run. Shook himself free of a tackle and kept fighting, even with the rest of the defense closing in on him. That's the kind of effort you'll take every single time. Trying to keep the drive going here. This is play number seven on third and two. And we've got movement. I think this is against the Bears here. Let's find out. That was a third and somewhat manageable, now not so manageable. Exactly, because you had a play call on that you felt like, hey, this could go quick, and it doesn't take much to get it done. Now, you got to start thinking about a little bit of a deeper route type of a call, especially if you want to throw it. Throwing on third down, Fields. And at the seven-yard line, the catch is made. And he'll be out of bounds. 
Woods about a half to a full yard shy of the five. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. I know we love our jobs, and pretty much any play we see, we're pretty, you know, excited about. But big plays, let's face it, that's what we absolutely live for. How about that one? That was great. And what our camera missed was the fist pump from the sideline after that catch. They're fired out. That's a big game. Now a chance to make that big play really hurt. It's first and goal just outside the five. Mooney, the motion man right. Fields tapping it forward, jet sweep. A nice play design there with the touch pass. Looked good at the start, but bottom line, the defense was ready. And they did a nice job scouting, didn't they? Not just scouting, but now executing once they saw the play for real after having worked on it all week in practice. They drilled on the play, then they drilled him. From the two now, second and goal. Foreman will score. Touchdown, Chicago. Well, he'd been the workhorse on this drive, and it would have been unfair to bring someone else in to finish the job. So they go back to him again, and he delivers with a touchdown run. Now the point after try for Santos. And it's good, and they have jumped out here to a quick 14-0 first quarter lead. A good drive that time as they go nine plays in all. And it was finished off by Deontay Foreman on the touchdown run. After the touchdown, here's Santos to kick this one away. From a yard or two deep, here comes a return. Oh, Davis lost it. It's loose. Oh, and one of the linebackers has got it. So a teammate picking him up there, that was nearly disaster. And the way that you coach these things, you want to make sure you have eyes towards the return guy because you want to make sure that the catch is secured. A lot of teams do that. They have at least one guy. Okay, you're responsible for making sure he secures the catch. He's not always the one that makes the recovery, but he can always sound out the alarm. Hey, ball's on the ground. We've got to get it back. Herbert going to lead up the Chargers here, first and 10. At their own 12-yard line. Here's Eckler to begin the drive. Dances by at the 20. And he'll take this across the 25 before going out of bounds. First down yardage on the first play of the drive, 14 yards. Well, you're down early. How do you get back in the game, maybe establish the run? I think they're trying to do that. Now I'm with you on that one, and what I like about the message is that there's no panic from the head coach. He's already told his offensive coordinator, let's run the football, let's get things settled down a little bit and find our way back into this game. What's the deal, So they'll go ahead and accept the penalty. The false start backs him up five, first and 15. It's Eckler again, and only a couple there up to about the 23-yard line. Vision is so important for the man in the middle because his ability to, to, to look through all the clutter that's happening in front of him, diagnose a play, and then go make it and finish it, that's when the great ones know that they have the goods. On second down, Eckler, and not much there. Maybe a yard up to the 24. Now third down is looming. A pickup of two on first down and just one yard there. Fourteen nothing the score. This is the NFL on EA Sports. Charger football to start quarter number two. The Chargers on third down, just one for three thus far. This is third down and 12. 
out of the gun, Herbert. And this is going to be incomplete. The passing game not in sync here early, and now it's fourth down. Well, this first half has not gone according to plan so far offensively, or even defensively for that matter. They could use a big-time spark somewhere, but it's not going to come on this drive as they have to punt this one away. On is the punter, Scott, here as he gets this one away. Fair catch called for and taken right near the 30-yard line. So a change of possession here on the punt, and out will come the offense as they take over. But Deontay Foreman and his offense back out there. And he's well on his way to a 100-yard game. He's already more than halfway there. We're only in the second quarter. And what I've always loved about running backs is they'll tell you, I had no idea how many yards I had. Right. Those guys have an innate <laughs> sense of where they are in a ball game and how many yards they've accumulated because you know they're always working towards 100. He's been working well towards 100 here. And he gets this up across the 35 before he's out of bounds. 77 yards rushing for him now to this point. Now that's a run that warms a play caller's heart because you're actually set up to do whatever you want on offense. You can come right back and run essentially the same play because you have momentum. Or you can fake that running play and throw something deep over the top. Or you now feel like you have an extra down to play with because if you go ahead and just throw it and you don't get it, come back and try and pick it up on third down. His first catch, good for nine and a first down. Here's Fields. Complete to Deontay Foreman at running back. And he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. Just about every quarterback is trained to really look downfield first before you come back and make a nice, safe throw. And in this case, that's exactly what he did. Found his running back, let him create some space, and it turned out to be a nice play for the offense. Fields now to throw. Got St. Brown running the quick slant here. Third catch of this first half for him, and this one is a first down. On the option to give to Foreman. And an excellent job of finding the opening as he's got this now all the way down to the 22. Mark that down as a pickup of 13, and the Bears have the first. We both know it's difficult, but they've made it look effortless out there. Through the air, on the ground, they've moved the ball with relative ease. On first down, it's Fields. He's got the connection to Moore. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. When you see zone defense and you know you've got a drag route on as your primary call, you've got to be really careful as a passer about how far you let your guy go because he might wander into some tough coverage. Two yards to go, second down. Now Foreman. And nothing doing. He's immediately taken down at the line of scrimmage. Call it no gain that time as it's going to leave him with a third and about three to go. They've called his number a lot this afternoon. You wonder how much tread is left on those tires. We certainly do, but I always think back to one of my favorite coaches in the NFL. And he used to have a meeting with his running backs every year in the offseason and say, look, as many times as you're going to carry the ball, you should be able to carry it one more time. So make sure you get in shape. That'll bring up fourth. They had the eight-yard gain on first down, but unable to do much from there. And that's what I'd like to see out of this defense, a little fire, a little toughness. It hasn't been the best first half for them, but they did do a nice job there, forcing a loss on that play. No fields is off, and on comes Cairo Santos for the Chicago field goal. From the left hash, this from 34. Santos' kick is up and through, and that will extend their lead even further. So three points there, and they continue to build this first-half lead. Yeah, every little bit helps. And the more that you can put together drives and start controlling the tempo, controlling possession, finishing with points, the better off you're going to be.
And after the made field goal, Santos back out there to kick it away. And here comes a return from just beyond the goal line. And that decision to bring it out ends up not being a good one. Costs him about five yards as he's tackled at the 20. The offense for Los Angeles returns to the field. And we don't want to call this desperation time, especially in the second quarter, but you're you don't down. don't want to. No, but oh, let me finish. Okay, my bad. You're down three scores already. You've done nothing offensively, nothing on the scoreboard. That's that's not a good combination. I think you just, you called, it I think you just called it desperation time. I, I think did. you did. But yeah. let's face it, you mentioned this to me in a break earlier in the game. The energy level hasn't been there right from the start. We've noticed that. They've got to find a way to get on their toes and start punching instead of retreating, to use a boxing analogy. It'll be a gain of 10 to start the drive out, and by a few inches, that'll be a first down. Well, how many times do we say in this game is speed kills, and it does it in so many different ways? In this case, you've got a back who's quick, and shifty can make moves make people miss but also gets to and through a hole before it can close down that's some of the benefits of that speed not just outrunning people in the secondary that led to a really nice game well they had a gain of 10 last time now a gain of 20 here now that's the kind of big play you'd like to see this first half it hasn't gone their way and they could use a shot in the arm something to perk them up a bit and they get one here in the passing game From the 50, here's Herbert. A quick throw there is incomplete. This could be the start of a nice stand from this defense now after getting walked backwards on this drive. Come through with another one here, and you have them staring at a third and long, and that puts the defense in a position to dictate to the offense. Second and 10. Justin Herbert looking to pass. Oh, he'll want that one back. Incomplete. He doesn't drop too many in that department. Third down. So another incompletion there. He's hitting on fewer than half his pass attempts in this one, and that is not a winning formula. Yeah, so let's make sure we give a little bit of credit to the defense here. They've given him a lot to think about, a lot of different looks, and he seems a little bit confused trying to complete passes. Herbert throwing again. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And they'll wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. A very nice pickup of 33 yards. Well, as my dad would say sometimes, I'm just scratching my head here trying to figure out what was going on there defensively. How did you lose him in the middle of the field? If you're going to lose a receiver, make sure it's someone on the short side of things, not deep downfield, that can hurt your defense. So the big play means just like that, they'll operate from the red zone now on first down. Herbert now. That's complete to the tight end, Everett. And able to get this down inside the 15, either the 13 or 14 before he's out of bounds. I know the halftime's approaching, but I don't think he's going to want to take a break. That's his fifth catch. Yeah, they've really been targeting the tight end. Second and six. Herbert will give this one to Eckler. And he's going to be brought down just shy of the five at the six. That leads us to a first and goal. It's a pickup of eight. And that's a nice pickup of a first down on that second down run. And at that yardage gained, they can run that plan any down. First and goal, and they got to be thinking a chance to get right back into this football game. Now it's Herbert. Got a man, and he hits him in stride. A minimal gain there on the eighth play of the drive. Oh, it's time to give a little credit there to the defense. They played that very well because it was a drag route, and he ran it a little shallower than normal as he worked straight across the field. He was hoping he'd get lost behind the defensive line, but once he made the catch, nowhere to turn up field and gain any yardage. Eckler. We'll get about halfway there as he takes this from the four down to the two. And give him two yards officially, and now it'll be third and goal. That run didn't get very far, and I think when you're looking at his dimensions, he's a little bit on the smaller side. He's counting on the big guys up front to escort him in, and they couldn't create any kind of space for him, could they? Yeah, didn't get the push they needed. Eckler again, and he takes it in for a Charger touchdown. Austin Eckler 
taking it in from two yards out. And the Chargers get a bit closer. But they decided to run it in and got it done on third and goal. A lot of times, that's a passing play. And the kicker just has to come out for the PAT. He can breathe a sigh of relief as well, right? Although I don't know if he's really breathing a sigh of relief. I think he likes to put three points on his ledger. And for the extra point, Cameron Dicker. And it's 17-7. A 10-play drive that time. And it's Austin Eckler who finishes things off with a touchdown run. Here's Dicker now as he'll send this one away. Here's Jones to bring it out of the end zone. And he returns this to the 22. With Deontay Foreman and his offense back out there. He's been good. His guys are winning. So far, the recipe working here in the second quarter. And he doesn't like to just tote the rock. He wants to carry his team on his back. And that's what he's done throughout this game. Yeah, he's done that. He'll be hoping to continue that trend. Fields and the Bears now with a first and 10. At their own 22. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. Looking left side, that's caught by Moore. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. He got 29 yards that time. That was an excellent read right there. Saw cover one. It's just a single high safety. So you know if you throw the ball to the outside part of the field, help is going to be a little bit late getting there. And he puts one out there for a big-time completion. So from Charger territory now, here's a first and 10 at the 49-yard line. They'll run with Foreman. 93 yards rushing for him now in the ball game. I think we can safely say that those types of plays are the backbone of this offense. We know not every run's going to be a big hitter, but you know they'll take that type of result on each and every attempt. Here now, second and four. Now Fields. Now a quick throw there, but it's going to be incomplete. I think he could have scanned downfield forever, but there wasn't anything available. Ends up throwing an incompletion, and I think he'll take that. In need of a conversion on third down. They had the big play to start the drive. Not much sense. Fields. Eluding the pressure right. And he will slide to a stop. He does have the first down. Opted to run for it. The decision, a good one. Picking up the first, getting 14 yards on the scramble. Certainly not a positive sign if you're the D coordinator and you see your guys give up that space so early in the game. Third down, that's when the clamps are supposed to come out. But his ability to create things with his legs makes things difficult. And they run the option here on first and 10. And he'll get this one down to about the 27. Only a yard on the keeper, and it'll be second down. Typically on the read option play, when we talk about responsibilities, we're talking about what the quarterback has to go through. How about the inside linebacker, though? His job on this play, shadow the quarterback and hold him to a short game. Did it to perfection. They'll fake the handoff. Now Fields. And this will be caught by Mooney. And he gets it all the way down inside the 10 and mark him at the 5. A well-executed 22-yard gain. So many times in my career I've heard coaches talk about completions are one thing. But as long as we're there at the catch and we get guys on the ground, we can live with that. But if you're going to give up 10, 12, 15 yards after the catch, then your defense is going to be in a lot of trouble. To throw his fields. Touchdown, Bears! Cole Komet 
with his second touchdown here in this first half. And the Bears are able to add on to that lead. And Charles, they continue to have trouble stopping him as he's into the end zone yet again. Yeah, that's multiple series now that have ended with him in the end zone. A perfect plan on how to utilize him best when they get in close. Santos now to add the PAT. And that'll make this a three-score game as the lead moves to 17. So that winds up a seven-play drive all told. And it was all capped off by Cole Komet with a touchdown catch. Now after the touchdown here, Santos to kick this one away. And not willing to risk another fumble, he'll sit on this one. It's a touchback. The Chargers getting set to go. Right now, Charles, it just feels like they're trying to keep pace. They did score the touchdown last time out, but they still trail by double digits here. We'll see if this offense is once again up to the task. Yeah, and I think that after the last drive, they've got to be pretty revved up, don't you think? Everything they were doing was working pretty well. They go back out there with the same mindset, play at the same tempo and the same pace. Still a lot of time left to make something happen in this one. On first down, it's Herbert. They'll find Everett there, complete. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. 16 yards right off the bat in a first down. When you struggle on offense, you're looking for anything possible to get you going. Sometimes you do it like basketball teams that don't normally press. You put a press on, bring people to life, make them move a little bit quicker. Maybe that'll help them as they head towards the half. And we've hit the two-minute mark in this first half of action. On first and ten, Herbert. It's taken in by Quentin Johnston. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. Boy, 30 more yards and another first down. Ah, so often when we're watching a football game, we see one with a lot of ebbs and flows, and this one is no different. And sometimes you just need a big play to wake you up a bit. And they get one right there, that shot of caffeine this offense was looking for. So now then, the big play has him all the way inside the 30 now, first and 10. Now movement up front. I think they're going to get one of the Charger linemen. Rashawn Slater, first-round pick in 2021, guilty there. The false start backs him up five, first and 15. Back to throw here, Herbert. And this is incomplete. A good job in coverage there. They took away his top read on the play, so he went through his progressions and ended up settling on his running back who scored on their last possession, but the coverage held, it goes incomplete. So they'll come up after the incompletion for second down. Again, Herbert. And he'll go down. The Bears get there for the sack. Multiple players getting home there for an eight-yard loss. Three scores down, not even a halftime yet. They are not getting much generated offensively. They've got to figure it out. It's tough because this, this defense just seems to be playing with so much confidence right now. They really are. They are on their toes, and they're getting at them. Under pressure, they got him again. Now the Bears going to call the first of their timeouts as they get the stoppage with just under 50 seconds remaining in half number one. Here's J.K. Scott set to do the punting honors. And he didn't quite have the back spin on that one. It hits at the four and continues into the end zone. It's a touchback. 
Now the Bears going to take over now late in this first half. And with a three-score lead already, this is not time for a momentum change, so I'd imagine they'd be happy to just take this into the locker room. Now a first down throw, Fields. And his throw here is incomplete. Not sure what happened there, but he just didn't get the right read on the coverage that time. Pass wasn't where it needed to be, and that'll send them back to the drawing board. They'll try again from the 20 on second and 10. Now it's Fields. And he'll be tackled at the 23 after a gain of three. The Chargers going to signal for the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with a little over 30 seconds to go in the first half of play. Here comes third down at seven. Back to throw, Fields. And he will slide to a stop. He does have the first down. Now the Bears going to use the second of their timeouts as they'll stop the clock with 26 seconds to go until halftime. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. Here's Fields. And his throw's going to be incomplete. Cole Komet, the intended receiver. And that'll bring up second down. Out of the gun, Fields. Now throw right side here, going to be incomplete. Now they face a third and ten after back-to-back -back incompletions. This time they stay on the ground. And it's a good acceleration there as he's across midfield to the 48-yard line. Now the Bears will use their third and final timeout as they'll stop the clock with 12 seconds to go in this first half. On first down, Fields. That's to the sideline and incomplete. Well, they've been back on the heels a little bit here on this drive, but a chance to exhale just a little bit there with incompletion on first down. Now they have to gear up, try and get two more stops and escape this drive. Here's second and 10. From the gun, here's Fields. The throw here right sideline falls incomplete. So many times we've seen him try to escape the pocket and do something with his legs, but in this case, the pressure was too intense and he made the wise choice to just get rid of the football and make sure no one was going to get it. It's been a pretty long drive. This will be play number nine, and they need 10 yards out of it on third. Now a handoff up the middle. Foreman, and this will go as a short gain on what will be the final act of this first half. So we reach halftime with the visiting Bears out on top here. As we send you cross country to Orlando, Jonathan Coachman is there and has our EA Sports halftime report. Okay, Brandon, thanks very much. Back to you guys in a bit. But first, we welcome everyone to our EA Sports halftime report. We've been treated to a strong performance by the former Longhorn Deontay Foreman. He's already over 100 yards rushing for the game and has a touchdown run as well. 
All right, Coach, thank you, and we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. Set to resume, here we go with the second half. The Bears holding the lead and ready to receive the kick. And he will not bring it out, it's a touchback. So here's the Bears offense now as they get set to start this third quarter. But Charles, for them, pretty good first half on the ground. They had some success running the ball in quarters one and two and they've got the lead. Now a chance to expand upon that lead here with their first drive in the third quarter. Yeah, and believe it or not, you and I have noticed that this great game of football has shifted towards pass first, run second. So for me, it's really nice to see some of these teams keeping the ground game as a big component of their offense, and it's working pretty well for them now. And let's face it, they can continue to do damage with it. And in addition, Fields hit and the ball is loose. Oh, and one of the linemen on the other side has got it. Dangerous spot for them to cough it up. Lucky to have hit the defense got it. They were already within the shadow of the goalpost. Yeah, and then you're yelling at your own defense. Sudden change, sudden change. That's not what you want to hear on your sideline. That means you got to run out there and try and stop an offense who has the ball in a very advantageous position. Now this one from about two counties over after the sack. They come up on a second and very long. Fields now to throw. That'll be caught by Foreman. And he'll get it up to the 12-yard line here. And just three yards on the catch there. He couldn't get away. And they're going to face an uphill battle here on third and long. Here's Fields. And that is incomplete. Not only did he have a chance to scan the field there, it felt like he had a chance to scan it twice. The protection was that good. Unfortunately for him, the coverage downfield, equally good. Here comes the Bears punter now. As the drive goes backwards, so he's on to punt it away. First kick, 47. This one looks good as well. Returnable here for Davis. It'll be a 44-yard punt, six on the return. And it'll be Charger football here as they take over. Now a we'll look at the Chargers offense. They get ready for their first possession of the second half. Herbert and the Chargers now with a first and 10 on their side of midfield at the 47. He'll hand off here to Eckler. And he finds a little bit of room, enough for four yards. It'll be second down. Nice chunky yards on first down. It really opens up your options for what you want to do on second. You can go right back to him and hope he explodes or sucker the defense in before throwing over the top. Now a second and six. Here's Herbert. Caught by Allen. And Allen's going to have a Chargers first down as the tackle made at the 42. It's a seven-yard gain there, and it's good enough to move the chains. Running on first down, Eckler. And very little there. He might have gotten a yard. Yeah, I think he got a yard to the 41. Yeah, things were pretty stacked up there in the middle of the line. A lot of bodies, not much space. I think ultimately, he was fortunate to get anything out of that run. And we're at the 41, second and nine. Herbert off of play action. He gets it to Johnston. And he's going to have another first down as the tackle's made here at the Bears' 19. A gain there of 21 yards. 
Well, we talk all the time about playing situational football, and right now I think the scoreboard is dictating what they need to do. Where they are in this game, they've got to push the ball downfield, take their shots, try and get big chunks of yardage in a short amount of time. That was a nice play there. Out of the gun, Eckler running it. And he gets it inside the 10 to the 9. A good gain again. That's now 31 yards combined on those last two plays. When he runs, he seems to do a nice job of knowing when to be patient and find the hole. And then when the hole is there, he goes quickly. You're exactly right. He knows how to just take off. But you know what else? Brings a little thump with him, doesn't he? He does. He packs the boom at the end of the run and finishes it going forward. That's what you want to see out of your backs. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. Nothing open downfield, and he had to get that one out in a hurry because he just knew he was about to take a big shot. Probably couldn't get his legs into the throw. Became an all-on throw trying to check it down to his running back. Incomplete. Another shot from the nine on second and goal. Up the middle with Eckler. And he's going to battle his way down right around the two-yard line. 61 yards rushing for him now to this point. When you look at the geography, we're staring at this part of the field. Don't you always think of big backs carrying the football, bruisers trying to pound it in? Instead, look at a little more of a scat back type, and he's trying to make it happen. Yeah, they went with the elusive, slippery guy. Couldn't get in there, though. They'll try again. And he's in for a Charger touchdown. Austin Eckler with his second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Chargers are able to make some inroads here to that deficit. That's a score you felt they had to have here in the third quarter to get back in this game. And you know that there was an emphasis on their side. Hey, we know this. We know where we are. But sometimes that binds you up so much that you try too hard you don't get the score. A perfect combination of urgency, yet relaxed enough to get it done. Extra point up and good by Dicker. And the lead down to 10, 24-14. So after the touchdown, here's Dicker out to kick this one off. Oh, the return is Jones from the end zone. And ultimately cannot get this out to the 25-yard line as he's dropped at the 23. The Bears now ready to take over again. This now a 10-point game, so things tightening a little bit after that last score. Fields and the Bears now with a first and 10 at their own 23. They'll try and start this drive in the air. And he's got his man out of the backfield. That's complete. And he'll get this up past the 25 before he's out of bounds. Short completion, just four yards, and that'll make it second down. Play action. It's Fields. Throwing quickly there, but it's incomplete. That incompletion certainly makes this upcoming third down a little bit more crucial. They need to find the right play to convert here and maybe start to tamp down a little bit of momentum. The other side is starting to gain. So after the second down incompletion, they'll come up now against a third and six. Back to throw. Fields looking for the out route and he's got more and he will have the Bears first down as they're able to get the third down conversion this is a nice job of just taking what the defense is going to give you on third down you're not looking for a big play downfield you just want to find something that can get you past the marker they found it and were able to keep the drive moving
Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. Fields throwing again. Over the middle, and that's caught by Komet. And this will leave him a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. Well, that's always a good place to throw it just because he's one of the biggest targets not only on this team but in the National Football League. And you and I both know the quarterbacks love these large body tight ends, and why not? Nowadays, they're really wide receivers who are just taller and have a little bit more weight. These guys catch the football, make big plays downfield. In the old days, we wanted them to block. Now coaches want them to catch the football first. Seven yards there and a first down. Second and one, and people want to run the football. This is where every back in the league is supposed to do exactly what we just saw there. Pick up the first down. So from Charger territory now, here's a first and 10 at the 49-yard line. Now Fields. That pass complete to Moore. So the completion good for seven there, and it'll be second down. Foreman powering ahead. And here he'll be brought down a little shy of the 35 at the 36. Six yards to pick up, and that's a first down. Looks to me like maybe there's a little attrition setting in with this drive, because when you see that type of a run, I get the feeling the defense getting a little bit tired. And that's the last thing they need, especially when they look up at the scoreboard. On first down, it's Fields. This one complete to Tunyon underneath. And he's going to get this inside the 30. The Bears on the move. They've got another first down. He's certainly done a nice job spreading the field on this drive. And here he finds his big tight end for good yardage. And that's what you have to do. Keep defenses guessing about where you're going to go with the football. On first and 10, here's Fields. He'll get this one into the hands of Lewis. And they are able to stop him, but he does take it all the way to the two. A big play there on the catch and run, and it'll give him a fresh set of downs. And I'll tell you what, this offense is playing a little bit of keep away right now. They've come out here in the third quarter, possessed the ball for quite a while, and they keep on converting. Nice pitch and catch there to set up the first and goal. Fields. And that is caught. Touchdown, Bears. Equinemia St. Brown. A two-yard touchdown grab. And his guy's now an extra point away from taking a three-score lead. That drive that really increased their cushion felt very military to me. Very precise, methodical. That's one of the words you've taught me. And they just got it done. And slowly but surely now, starting to pull away a little bit. Things looking good for them here in the third quarter. Not only pulling away, but you mentioned that slowly but surely. You also drain clock, too, with yep. a drive like that. So you really give yourself an advantage. Santos able to tack on the extra point. And that'll make this a three-score game now. The lead moves to 17. Now after the touchdown, here's Santos to kick this one away. From a couple yards deep, he'll bring it out of the end zone. And he will be brought down here inside the 20. Good coverage as he's dropped at the 17. The offense heading back out as we take a closer look at Austin Eckler. He is hoping to find the end zone for a third time, and we sit now in the third quarter. And nothing would excite him more, but I think even more so, his offensive line. Anytime you've got a guy scoring that many times, that means you've done a really nice job in front of him. You're always giving props to the big fellas up front. It's always a good idea. Those <laughs> are some massive men. Herbert on first down now. Finds the open man. It's Mike Williams. And he's brought down, getting this one up to about the 35. 17 yards on the play as they try to eat into this 17-point deficit. 
Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. Justin Herbert looking to pass. And that's complete to the right side of Taylor. And brought down, but not before reaching the 45-yard line. A 10-yard pickup, and it's enough for a Charger first down. I think that's a big pickup for a first down because when you run a drag route against zone, you're sometimes asking for trouble because you might run into a defender. Yeah, well, there they ran into a first down, executed it to perfection. Eckler now between the tackles. A beautiful fake. And they nearly sprung him that time as he takes this all the way down to the 37. Another big hitter there. This one good for 18. Would you say this offense is locked in right now? They're having no trouble on this drive. What is it, three plays, three first downs? Yeah, you talk about on the march. They keep this up, they'll get to that end zone real fast. So into Bear territory now. This is first and 10 at the 37-yard line. Once more, here's Eckler. And he's swallowed up right near the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play. It'll be second down. Early down stuff to put this offense in a precarious position. We know that securing the point of attack, especially against the big-bodied guys in the middle of this D, has got to be priority one. Third quarter now from SoFi Stadium. Here's a second and ten. Here's Herbert. Right side, he has Johnston. And he's going to have another first down as the tackle's made here at the Bears' 18. The Chargers passing game rolling a bit here. They've got another first. So from inside the 20, here's first and 10 at the 18. Herbert operating from the red zone. And he's going to go down. Back at the 27-yard line, he's sacked. Sacked by Yannick Ngakwe, the former Maryland Terp. Oh, you can just see it in their body language. They're starting to see victory on the horizon now, and if it comes to fruition, they got to give a game ball to the front seven. Defensive line has taken charge and controlled this game. Face a challenge of stopping this opposing offense, and they've done so with ease. Got to imagine the pass rush will be equally intense here on second down following the sack. It's second and 18. On the option, here's Heckler. Down he goes at the 23, a pickup of four. Not too many offenses want to turn down long drives, but when you're down what they are, they've got to pay it off with some points. So they'll get a little extra time to come up with his third down play as we've played three quarters. We'll return with more after this. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. And this offense on third down today, they're at 50%, four for eight. This will be third and 15. A shotgun snap for Herbert. Dancing to his left. And he wisely will throw that one away. You know, the trials and tribulations of being a quarterback in this league, it's tough. It's got to be wearing on him out there. Well, he has been sacked a number of times. He had an interception, so I'm going to give him a skosh of credit for hanging in there and trying to make something happen, despite the amount of pressure he's been under this entire game. And his kick is good. And that will close the gap down to 14. Well, with that field goal, you can argue they needed to get back within two scores, and they did indeed do that, but still a pretty uphill battle. Still going to take two fourth-quarter touchdowns to get back into it. And as you and I know, that's a tall order against any NFL defense. They're going to need their own defense to make some plays as well to give them an opportunity. Now, after the Dicker field goal, he's back out, ready to send it away. And this will come out to the 25 as Jones elects for the touchback. And now Chicago getting ready to go as they take the field. 
Well, there are two scores on the plus side. Still time here in this fourth quarter, but maybe you start thinking about playing keep away? Yeah, I think here's the situation. You're not thinking touchdowns anymore. You're just thinking first downs to keep up with your theme there, playing keep away. First downs, they can't touch the ball. Fields and the Bears now with a first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. And this one incomplete, threw it down at the feet of his receiver. Okay, I'm not quite sure how to judge that one. Maybe he didn't have enough legs underneath him. Mechanics might have been off. Maybe some fatigue. That one came up short. Yeah, fourth quarter. Maybe you do start to watch as the arm there, the leg's still there. This has been a tough game. Following the incomplete pass, here they go again. Second and 10 from the 25. To throw his fields. Looking left side, that's caught by Moore. And they work this well upfield across the 45. 23 yards the pick up there. But when you're up by two scores in the fourth quarter and you're going to throw the football, expect to see a lot of man coverage because usually what comes along with man coverage is pressure. So if you're a play caller and you want to keep throwing the football, that's fine. Just make sure your offensive line understands they're going to get additional guys running at the quarterback. Now a first down throw, Fields. And intercepted, maybe the turning point they need. Picked off by Michael Davis. And the Chargers are right back in this football game. That is the play they needed in a two-score game here in the fourth quarter. No doubt about it. They did what they had to do to give themselves a chance to get back into the game. They turned it over to the offense. They are now in charge. Now they need to execute. The Charger defensive unit making their way back out there. The interception was a great starting point, but now they need points pretty quickly, down two scores. So first and 10 now from the 30. After the turnover, here's Herbert. Pressure, and he's taken down. A bear sack. Montez Sweat able to disrupt yet another pass play. That is his third sack of the afternoon. This defense, they just continue to feast. Five sacks now as a unit. It's been quite an afternoon getting to the quarterback. And we're seeing it come from a variety of places as well. Sometimes just the guys up front getting to them. Other times you add extra guys rushing the quarterback, twists and stunts. It's been a variety, and they've had no way of blocking them. On second down, here's Herbert. It got his man complete! And they work this well upfield across the 45. A gain there of 30 big ones. And here's a spot where this offense says, we got to start making something happen. We're down two scores. It's the fourth quarter. We've got to start moving with some urgency. And here's a big play that gives them a ray of hope that they can get back in this one. The big play has them all the way out near midfield for a first and 10. A give, Eckler running to the right. And he's got it across midfield and into Bear territory. He'll get a nice chunk there on the first down run, and it's second and four. That play wasn't quite as big as the play that preceded it, but still, got to like the way they're moving the football, partner. Absolutely, pretty good room to run on that last play. Yeah, they didn't get a first down, but still, you'll take runs like that each and every time, won't you? Herbert. On the screen, this is Eckler. And some room to work. That he is out of bounds, but not before he's inside the 30. The Chargers passing game rolling a bit here. They've got another first. For as many sacks as this defense has, you can understand their willingness to try and get upfield and get another. So what a really smart play call here to use their aggression against them, go with the screen, and they're able to get the first down. Now a give running left is Eckler to about the 26 here. When you find that kind of yardage, you couldn't be more confident as a ball carrier. And guess what? You're going to go back and tell your offensive coordinator, I'd like to keep carrying it, thank you. Second down and six now from the 26. 
Here's Herbert. And that's going to be incomplete. Give it big credit for his coverage right there because when he saw the route break deep, he stayed in position to prevent a completion while avoiding any risk of a flag. Seventh play of the drive upcoming here on third and six. Herbert now. Oh, it's intercepted. A drive killer there. Tyreek Stevenson picks it off. And the Bears are going to take possession as they've got it at the 42-yard line. Well, these defensive coaches, they sure like what they've got in this rookie corner. And with good reason, as you saw there. He only cost him a day two pick, and a lot of people thought he had first-round ability. But when he was available on draft night, that was one where you didn't need the full time to make the selection. You call that pick in early, and he shows why he was so coveted with that interception there. Fields and the Bears now with a first and 10 at their own 42. They'll start the drive with a give to Foreman. And able to work about five yards out of this as he's taken down up near the 47. Good gain there on first down. It keeps them in a running situation probably. They did everything right on that play, didn't they? They got the leverage up front. Good blocking. Nice hole for him. Ends up picking up nice yardage. Stays in bounds to keep the clock rolling. They are in charge of this scenario right now. They want to stay that way. And not in any rush offensively. And a good push there defensively as they stop him at the 48. Gain of just one. Brandon, I've got to think this offensive line has got some smiles on its faces. And, and I know it sounds crazy, but they practiced for this back in training camp. They knew they'd be in situations where it'd be extra defenders in the box coming after them, trying to keep them from locking down a game. Right now, they want to show the world they're up to the challenge. Now a third down throw, but it misses the target incomplete. Critical play in this football game, because if they pick up the first there, that clock keeps rolling. Has to be a little frustrating for them because they know that if they pick up a first down there and continue to eat away at the clock, really increases their chances of closing this one out. Now they're likely going to have to give the football up and sweat it out on the sideline. Now on fourth down, on is the punt team sending this one away. And there's a work of art right there. Out of bounds at the two-yard line. And the L.A. offense ready for this next possession. Their defense was able to force the punt. That's the good news. But this is still a two-score game, and they need points on this drive and in a relatively quick manner. That is how you flip field position. That's an absolute bomb of a punt. Downs it inside the five-yard line absolutely ideal and from that position you're hoping to get it down inside the 15 inside the five superb they started on the ground with Eckler and he's able to get this across the 10 before being taken down they needed some breathing room. He gave it to them. 11 yards and a first down. Well, so much for being backed up against their goal line to start the drive. He gave them some breathing room and then some. I think the defense really got caught thinking safety, trying to stack the line of scrimmage. And oftentimes, if you can get past the initial grouping, there's a lot of room to run. The defense actually fortunate that didn't go farther. And yeah, he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down second and right at a yard. You know what really fires up offensive linemen? When the guy that is carrying the ball behind them can create his own space and break a tackle along the way. Second down and a yard. Now Herbert with it looking to pass. A little short pass. This is Everett. These two have hooked up nine times now this afternoon as they pick up the first. Many different ways to create space, but on that play, he did it with that big wide body of his. Didn't get a whole lot of yardage on the play, but it did what it was supposed to. Pick up a first down. So first and 10 now from the 30. Now it's Herbert. A little short pass. This is Everett. Give him a gain of five on the completion, and it'll be second down. Obviously, this has not been a banner game throwing the football, 
So what you got to do, you got to kind of down focus, don't you think? Find the tight end, take some easier completions. Hey, interception last drive, there he hits the reliable target. Second and five. From the shotgun, here's Herbert. Finds Johnston. A five-yard pass on the heels of a five-yard run. Good enough for the first. Back to throw here, Herbert. He's got another one to Johnston. And taking it across midfield and just shy of the 40. It's another first down as they look his way again, this time 19 yards. You cannot write these guys off just yet, not with a quarterback like that under center. You mean it actually crossed your mind with him running the team that you could actually maybe write this game off? Not yet. Not a chance, not with him. We've seen it too many times. So into Bear territory now. This is first and 10 at the 41. A handoff, it's Eckler. And he sneaks his way forward only for a couple here, second down. Well, any lane that might have been open there was closed pretty quickly, and that was because the defensive front, they won that battle at the point of attack at the line of scrimmage. They used great leverage, held their spot, and stacked him up. Second down and eight. Operating from the gun, Herbert. He'll get this out wide to Eckler. It'll be a gain of five, and now it's third and three. I know it was a gain, but you have to sense probably a little bit of disappointment there because when it's out there in open space, I think they expect to get more out of a play, don't you? Especially when you're getting it to your guy out of the backfield. You're expecting him to be able to create something, be a little more shifty. Yeah, no doubt about it. Good open field tackling held it to an okay gain. Now throwing on third down there, but he cannot connect. And they're indeed going to go for it here on fourth down. So trailing here in the last quarter. Let's see how this plays out. Work in the middle of the field. He's got a man complete. And he is going to have the Chargers first down as they take advantage of what looked like an unsure defense. They wind up getting eight on fourth and three. Well, correct me if I'm wrong. You know, you're down two scores. I don't think you need to rush just yet, but you can't take your time either. Yeah, even if you don't want to commit to full two-minute offense, you have to up the tempo, up the urgency. Maybe you're starting to call two plays in a huddle each time you snap the ball. He finds his target, Allen. And they do get him down, but not before he's able to slip it inside the five-yard line. Back-to-back -back receptions for him, and it's another first down. And these two hooked up on a nice game to play before, and I always admire play callers that see a play that works and go right back to it, so they went right back to him. The reward, they're set up with first and goal. This is caught. Nice job defensively to hold him to four, and now it's second and goal. Hard to believe his first catch of the game defensively. They bottled him up. That's why they're well on their way to victory. Put your best cover guy on him and then change the coverages behind him throughout the game. Brackets, double, zone, man, you name it. Make sure he gets a lot of angles. Here's Herbert now on second down. Got a man. It's Allen for the Charger touchdown. Keenan Allen. There to make the grab. And the Chargers drive the entire length of the field, 99 yards for the score. I'm not sure win-win is the proper term here, but it certainly felt like it. They got the touchdown they needed, but if I'm on the defensive side of the ball, okay, you got the touchdown, but it sure took you a long time. Yeah, because offensively there, you're probably hoping for a one-to-five play drive. That one ate up a little more time than they were hoping. You're exactly right, and if you have that one-to-five play drive, you actually build up momentum and even more hope when they had to slog their way downfield. They got the touchdown, but it's almost like, ah. Yeah, yeah you know, it doesn't you got, feel right. Exactly. <laughs> Here's Dicker now as he'll send this one away. Here's Jones to bring it out of the end zone. 
And he'll be brought down right on the chalk of the 20. Another drive coming up for this Chicago offense. After the touchdown we just saw, we have a brand new ball game. And now look at the situation. You've got plenty of time on the clock. Defensively, they have three timeouts. So do you run the football here or do you throw it? I think you have that full conversation with your offensive unit. And you tell them, here's the situation. They've got all their timeouts. So we are not going to play this conservatively. We've got to attack them. We've got to make them use those, gain the ground that we need in order to put this game away. If you think we're just going to run it three times and punt it, you've got another thing coming. Yeah, I and mean, by the way, also the two-minute warning in play, so essentially four timeouts left. They have to be aggressive here. He's been a busy man here in this one, and they're showing off some nice footwork to stay in bounds. And with those types of catches and the volume that we've seen in this game, wouldn't you keep him busy as well? I would. Of course, you gotta <laughs> keep throwing it to him. He keeps making plays. Seven yards there and a first down. You can really tell right now both sides have amped up the aggressiveness. That time the offense winning the aggression battle. And the defense was obviously aiming for the football, maybe a little bit more so than the runner himself. And that's why he was able to break through and get the gain that he did. Five points of contact necessary at this stage as they'll run on first down. And I think this defense knew what was coming as he is smothered behind the line. You'd have to think likely another running play coming here, second and 11. Again, it's Foreman. And he'll get this up to about the 38-yard line. So fresh out of the two-minute warning, and here's another timeout taken with 1.55 remaining. Now this is a big third down, and you'd have to think we'd see a timeout right away if they can't stop him here. Now Fields. And this is caught. He hits one. And he'll have it past midfield almost to the 40 before being taken down. Wow, a personal foul at this stage in the fourth. Hard to believe. Really hard to believe. And now that glow of hope that you had begins to flicker out, doesn't it? Yep. So a big penalty there on the face mask leads to first and 10. On the handoff, here's Foreman. Now the Chargers will use the second of their timeouts. They're going to snuff this play out behind the line. We have not seen that much today. So the first down run lost a couple. Now they come up second and 12. Now again to Foreman. Oh, no, he lost the football. But it looks like one of the DBs has it. And they will take over at the 29-yard line. I know you're looking at the scoreboard clock. We're getting near the end of this game. But they were in what was really called four-minute offense. And that's practice, being taking care of the football, taking time off the clock, not giving them a chance to come back. But bottom line is, what did I say in the beginning? Taking care of the football. That didn't happen. Didn't do it. A costly turnover. And now before the ball changes hands, they're going to take a look at this just to make sure that they have it right. Now the question, was the knee in fact down before this ball comes loose? And is the video convincing enough to overturn it? A lot of factors here. Remember, you also need clear possession of the football afterwards. This is a tough one to overturn. Chargers going to use their third and final timeout as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. Thank you. 
So possession still theirs, but now they face a third down. They'll run with Foreman. And they're going to stop him short of the first down as he's tackled at about the 21. You know, we might start getting some props here in the booth. You know, that one that says the D and then the fence that you put up next to it. Mm -hmm. How about that? They brought out the jumbo package and still couldn't move them off the line of scrimmage enough to pick up that first down. Impressive. They were ready defensively for that jumbo set. Santos' kick is up and through, and that will extend their lead even further. So that, not just important in the fact that it widens their lead, but really that was a textbook job of just hanging on to the football. And we know all the time that coaches talk about time of possession. Sometimes it's a stat that doesn't matter much, but in this drive, it matters a lot. They want to reduce time and score points and lock this game down. After the made field goal, Santos back out there to kick it away. And not willing to risk another fumble, he'll sit on this one. It's a touchback. Herbert and the Chargers down by 10, a little under a minute to go. It's an extremely tall order in front of them, but they've got the ball with a first down. Throwing Herbert. Uh, nowhere to go for Herbert, and he's going to go down. Montez Sweat in there to drop him as that clock continues to run. I don't know what else can be said about this pass rush. They have been sensational, CD. That is now six sacks for them. And how many times do we talk to offensive coordinators and they say a sack is a result of everyone on offense not doing their job? But let's be honest about this one. This is the offensive line unable to counter the pass rush. They've been teeing off all game long. A second down pass play there, but it's incomplete. Well, that play was certainly a little bit different because on the previous play, he was sacked. This time, protection a lot better. Had time to survey the field and still couldn't find an open receiver. This definitely four down territory at this point, but a critical third down here. Herbert to throw. A throw left sideline falls incomplete. Well, this is getting close to a no-win situation now. They've got one final shot. They're on their end of the field, and it's fourth and long. This might require a little extra razzle-dazzle to get it done. No choice but to go. Here's fourth down now. They snap it to Herbert. He's got a man complete. And he will get out of bounds at the end of this. So they took a shot, they completed, and stopped the clock in the end. I tell you what, this is not for the faint of heart right here. Fourth down, this is taking a big risk. But it's as good a play call as you can imagine. And the defense, just not able to come up with the stop they needed. And this is not just a first down, but a big play as well. Herbert has it knocked free. And now this ball picked up by the offense. But here in the final two minutes of the game, this will be blown dead. Only the fumbler can advance the football. So this will go back to the spot of the fumble itself. A higher scoring game, Charles, than we typically see in the National Football League. But fun to watch these offenses. They were really clicking. It seemed like everything that they dialed up worked. Yeah, it certainly was fun to watch from our perspective. How'd you like to be those defensive coaches, though? That wasn't a blast for them at all. And let's face it, they all game plan, they all scout, they all think they're prepared. But executing and stopping teams, that's another matter entirely. So that'll just about do it for Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. For more, log on to easports.com. With that, we say so long from Southern California.